This here is Backwoods Billy coming to the beautiful Delmarva Eastern Shore talking about Ham's beer. Look at the BJCP 1B, which is the American adjunct longer style. Hans has been around since 1865 with a 12-ounce can and a 16-ounce can. Basically, Theodore Ham is the one that originally came out with it. And then it was sold to, I believe, the Olympia Brewery, who then sold it to Pabst and or became under Pabst. Pabst then, I believe, switched it to Miller's, which became S.A. Miller with South African, uh, with them. Now it's Molson Coors, still under Miller's, who makes it. Uh, in essence, it's an adjunct longer. It's going to be between 2 to 4 SRM. Um, and you're going to look at your IBUs 8 to 18. This is 5% alcohol by volume. So since you can't find the IBUs, somewhere in here is going to be where your IBUs are 8 to 18. Um, I would say probably around 10 would be my guess where this is. Um, this is going to have a corn syrup in it and a dextrose maltose additive. This is part of your carbohydrate when they put that in there. It's a combination of, from what they say, old stone hop as well as a uh, hop syrup that's added to it, a li liquid hop extract as well. So it's a combination of the hops. doesn't tell you what it is. Um, being of German heritage, um, the yeast strain, although it's not mentioned, um, it may be an American adjunct longer, but it also may be a German style. A German style lager strain is going to be a little bit cleaner in the finish. So, then on there, I'll save my little thing here. So, I'll wrap it if I can. We'll do the little 12 ounce one. So I'm not the best at uh, so it. Doesn't blow away. I have fingernails in there, so I'll use this. And then we're going to. The Hatfield McCoys are going at it, which you can hear in the background. <laughs> As you can see, it poured a nice head, about a finger, finger and a half head on there. You're going to get look at um, nice lacing. Um, this is going to be towards the darker side, so between a 2 to 4 SRM. I pegged this more like a 4 on there. I'd say probably a 3 SRM to be on there. See the color of it. About the color of a darker ginger ale, wouldn't you say so, or apple juice? More like apple juice. Yeah, apple juice so. Getting the grainy notes, very sweet, bready notes coming off of here. Uh, it's really great, but it's mainly sweet, bready that hits you. Um, you get a little bit of like apple notes to this and pear notes to this as well. Taste is sweet toasted bread. What you get out of it. So it's slight bready notes, but on a like a toasted bready note. Um, you get a little bit of pear with this, slightly grainy and spicy. Now the spiciness could be the hops, but more likely than not, since this is well carbonated or highly carbonated, these beers tend to be well attenuated, meaning that when they're fermented, the yeast utilized tends to ferment most of the sugars in there. So um, well carbonated, so you get this, the carbonation can hit the same spot on the tongue as the spicy note does, and it's going to give you the spiciness to it. Um, this is actually a pretty economical beer, um, and in my opinion, it's a backwards Billy two thumbs up. I highly recommend you get this. It's um, Cheaper than Paps is cheaper, obviously, than Miller Coors, uh, Budweiser, any of those. And for a lager style, I mean, I'll put this up against anybody's beer. It's really good. Nice lacing. It's sessionable at 5% ABV. 150 calories per 12 ounces of serving. Not bad. Um, I would say it says six and two row malt typically with these up to 40 percent adjunct either rice or corn in this case uh they say that they use a rice i mean of course they use a corn adjunct it's a corn syrup that's odorless taste of birds more tasteless and then that's just going to impart a little bit of sweetness to it um they do that in order that they can have the beer attenuate in other words so that the beer can be a little bit higher abv be a lighter body lighter color you're not going to make the color go up or the body of the beer go up to it Medium body, medium high carbonation. Um, it's Hams, it's a Backwoods Billy, two thumbs up on this. Um, I'd say pretty much anything you can think of to pair with a lager or a pair well with. Hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza. If you want to do pasta, fine seafood, like steamed crab, steamed shrimp. All that will go very well with this. A steak will go well with this as well. It's a Backwoods Billy, two thumbs up. Pick you up a six pack of Hams today. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews. Check me out on Twitter at Backwoods Billy CBR. 
check me out on Facebook coming soon, coming soon to Vino. Um, on Google Plus, Backwoods Billy Crap Beer Reviews, where to click, like, subscribe, and comment. Backwoods Billy Crap Beer Reviews. I want to hear what you got to say. Do you like hams? There's another beer that you prefer. Um, rock and roll, people. Backwoods Billy, two thumbs up. Pick you up a six-pack today. Forward this to your friends on social media as well.